Alright, our new journey is starting. We're going to Machu Picchu. We're actually in the train, panoramic train, which you can actually see like the sceneries and the views outside the train, like all over like this. Aguas Calientes which actually the town or the village that's closest to Machu Picchu the name of the village Aguas Calientes actually mean hot water the water is not that hot really like the highest temperature would be 99 for a or 37 Celsius we are drinking Cusqueña beer with lime or something it's so good it's like a margarita beer right? Right there, almost feel like a party. <laughs> instead of um, instead of the hot spring, almost feel like a pool party. Now we come into like this ah, private lion agua caliente right here. <laughs> and you have no idea the places I've been to so far. I think this is more like <laughs> tourist trap kind of. Not much to do around here, and mostly it's like. Restaurant offering the same things. Thank you. Pretty <laughs> Mexican food. Remember so, <laughs> so pretty much same deal. The whole town like three pisco sour or four, four pisco four sour one. for one. See, yeah. it's like all the town same deal. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah, and every time we walk past, they're gonna say the same thing. It's the bump. It's the bumper. Tempted to buy one like that. Last night when we got here, we ate there and then this afternoon when we got back from Machu Picchu we ate at one restaurant that one of the hostel owner that we stayed with recommended us to go there We eat in a place called Pool House There Sakalinka Look at that It's crazy My favorite one so far. Yeah. And this place located just right by the train station. We've been getting everything we wanted. Green pisco sour, like a small little one. We just got back from the height to Machu Picchu. It's pretty, really pretty. And all the view and everything here, I'm amazed. All right, we're going in. One, two, three, go!
close by the river and today again we're going to the one that the first name that he came up with it and another hostel owner just told us the same name so we're going to in country where the locals say it's the best one in town and also one of the first few that opened here in Agua Caliente Piña forever mm. Mm. Nice. The food is already here. Looks so good. Super classy. Yeah. Super classy. They sell like fusion food, Peruvian, and Italian food all together. So tomato, mozzarella cheese, bacon, Italian sausage, and ham. The grilled alpaca tenderloin with the mountain mushroom sauce, ravioli filled with sweet potato, sweet chilies covered with sage butter. All right. So thin, it's falling apart. So thin. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Mm. I want it to be a little bit more like crispier than that. Mm. Very juicy though. Really good. This is alpaca. We've been eating alpaca every day, just like at the pork or something already. And we're petting them. <laughs> we went to like pet them and be friends with them at the farm <laughs> in Oyantay Tambo. And I was like, oh my god, we're gonna eat you again. Honey with the butter knife? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the mushroom sauce. Hmm. This is different. This is so far the most tender. Right? Oh. Serious? You might need to take a bite and then just dip in the sauce after. Mmm! The walnut. Make it pretty good, like, give it the crisp. This is good. They could put that mushroom sauce on a pizza with some meat and cheese and that'd be the bomb. I, should, I would eat that shit all day. As Peruvian as it could get, we cut alpaca steak with butter knife. <laughs> I love mushroom. I love alpaca. I love the ravioli all together. It just do a double flip. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's almost like pork and beef hybrid. So alpaca reminds me of. It's care. so good. Right? It goes so well together. Usually it's squash inside. And most of you know, now it's a new fashion squash. So tender, it's like trying to fall apart. This next few weeks that we're gonna be here in Peru, I'm gonna eat so much alpaca. It's not even expensive, really. Like, it's cheaper for the steak? Here, <laughs> we got it. I'll meet it where. Oh my. Mascarpone. See? Here. Damn. Second, so one cookie you name is Savoya. One espresso, one white. Okay, one dermisu. Thank you so much. That's just a meal. That looks good. Yeah! I've had so many 
tiramisu before in my life. Never before had it like this when someone preparing it in front of me. That was unexpected, really. <laughs> A really soft cake. It's like giant vanilla wafer. Oh, starting to get like a little soft here. Oh yeah. Mm. This is a really good restaurant. Mm -hmm. Then one of the first few restaurants around here, and the service is good. The food is really good. The Italian that we're having here, so good. This is already our last day in Aguas Calientes. It's been quite okay, like for me. I honestly don't like it that much. It's just so overwhelming, so touristy, and the whole town totally run by tourism. It's overwhelming. It's just a little bit too much for me. A few days, one night or two nights, totally enough for us already. We are right now in the Peru Rail, the panoramic train, where you can see the view from here, from there, from there, from there. We're leaving from Aguas Calientes or Machu Picchu Pueblo back to Oyatay Tambo, which is the town here that closest to Machu Picchu. Gracias. Okay. This is beautiful color and also healthy. It made from purple corn and some other juices like pineapple, apple juice, and a little bit of cinnamon. Mm. Oh, good. days ago we took an expedition train which actually like basic the most basic train ride you don't get food you don't get nothing it's a one and a half hours train ride 54 dollars and then this including the food which they call Vista do we paid 74 I believe